Hi, it's Sam from Techphobe, and today I'm going to show you a really simple and cool way to trick the Gmail system uh, to offer up infinite email addresses for you to give out and use, um, all the while using the one Gmail account. Okay, so if I show you what I've done, I've set up a email address for this video, Techphobe demo at gmail.com. Okay, so standard email address, um, but here's where it differs. Okay. So if I now put techphobe demo, and before I put that at gmail.com, I put um, anything I like, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put test, tester, okay, right? At gmail.com, okay, this is a test, this is a test, click send, okay? You can see that's come through. So just to state the obvious here, Gmail ignores anything after the plus symbol, okay? So the brilliant thing about this is I could go and give techphobe demo plus tester at gmail.com to anyone I like um, and it will come through into my inbox. So again, you're probably thinking, yes, and what's the purpose of that? I'll give you an example. Um, a lot of people go and set up a dedicated email address when they're looking for a property to move to. Okay, they don't want to give out their normal email address because they don't want to get loads of property alerts through. Um, so the benefit of this is you would go and give a real estate agent your email address with the plus symbol and anything you like after that at gmail.com and you can then go and create a filter or so that it automatically labels uh, that email. So you can just view specifically uh, certain emails rather than it clock in your inbox, okay? So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to create a filter off the back of this email. So I'm gonna put, uh, so click these three dots, filter messages like these, okay? I'm gonna get rid of that, so that's not what I'm after. So I want to filter techfo demo, well, there we go, plus tester, okay? So create filter. So I want to um, skip the inbox, Okay, and then that voids it clogging up my standard inbox. Um, and I'm also going to apply a label. I'm going to create a label and I'm going to make it tester one. Okay, or whatever you like, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm going to apply it to a matching conversation, create a filter. Okay, so now when I go into here, whoops, okay, so you can see I've got my tester one label applied to that email address there, and it's not in my inbox. Okay, so if I go again and send another one, I'm gonna put, this is another test, test, okay, send. So it goes into my inbox and straight out again, and you can see when I click on to test one, there's the email I just sent. So it's really simple to use um, and set up. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'll leave you with that, and I'll see you at the next video.